uh, the project for asking us. This has been a revelation. We've never worked collectively before, so this could be a complete disaster or just a disaster. Um, we thought we'd take the oldest enemies there are, of the man and the woman, and we try and get inside each other's heads. So this is going to be embarrassing for both of us. I think. It's called Man Poem, Woman Poem. I am a poem and I want the truth. I demand that you be unambiguous and not conceal yourself in metaphor. This poem wants to see some proof. I'll start by asking what the girl has learned from the man within, what the low-toned voice, the one you don't admit to knowing, mutters in the moments while your back is turned. Most days his nibs takes me on pilgrimage to purgatory, protecting daddy's girl. He's taught me not to let my guard down, to live by lies of half-cocked self-invention, mock heroics to the fore when flirting with brunettes and Birkenstocks to make up for my flimsy story. Now and then I hear him whisper how he'd like to kill my girlish vulnerability. Can you recall those times your woman's intuition saved you from yourself? I'm a poet and I don't buy into women's intuition. If I'm saved, I've saved myself through consciousness, the common sense that isn't truly sense and isn't actually very common. My gender is defined by the hand that writes me down. How could it be otherwise? Do you agree, though, that there's a second sex within us, hard to see, yet equal and opposite, a left to the right, a day to the night? These binaries have hampered us for centuries. Gender's pure performance poetry. Do the manly thing enough, setting bait in Brotty Ferry, sailing to Antarctica, and it becomes a trait of masculinity. The safety net of common sense can only fend off fear of lunacy, of ecstasy, of taking mad, abandoned flight and never coming back, until those higher voices surface through the cracks in the unconscious. Yet, is it common sense to want to wear a suit when human nature is radically queer and increasingly the inner man's pansexual or trans? I'm a poet. I always wear a suit, scalpel sharp or elbow patched and shabby, but it's just a vestment for the words that foundation garments dare not speak. Whether brute or erudite isn't what's inside a man forever near the surface, probing gaps in the meniscus, longing to reveal itself, and does a woman really care if what he longs to show is straight or queer? Perhaps if it were either or, I'd be in Antarctica, Arcadia or Aberdeen, swooning with a shepherd who wants to mate for life. But the queer-like voice long silenced is now broken like a breaker and can bring the straightest straight man to his knees. Yet the men inside my head refuse to share a bed and what one is keen to show, the others leave for dead. So what hope for common sense when there's only dissidence? So poem with your pedigree of Whitman, Shakespeare, Dickinson, I wonder if you're sensate to some inner homotextual. I'm a poem, but it doesn't mean I've mapped my territory out completely. I could still surprise myself with second glances at a man, imagining the roughness of his skin on mine as he unwraps me verse by verse and claims me with a curious kiss. Maybe in the moment of surrender, all that matters is the need to feel another person's love. My God, I've never told another living poem any of this. Seconds after this cognition, listen for the words of daddy, shouldn't, mustn't, oughtn't, don't. In pile all the other voices offering their duff advice. Love's a form of narcissism, an overdose of serotonin. What's the point of fornication with no hope of procreation? Someone's shouting deviation. Is there a self to bring some order to this ranting mob? Poem, do you have a single quiet eye? 
I is all I am. You can find me somewhere in each line. I am a poem, and I live in the things I do not say. Just to finish off, I wonder if you're happy to complete a simple questionnaire if you have the time. Question one, on a scale of one to 24, where one is completely uncertain and 24 is totally unsure, what do you know which you didn't know before? Self-knowledge is this poem's holy grail, but I'm a work in progress. Off your scale, incomplete without a lover, or at least one preferably doting reader. Question two, how do you rate this experience of discovering what you hide? Somewhat satisfied, very satisfied, completely satisfied. The process has been seriously satisfactory, though even on the inside, women often seem to go where men's imagination takes them. And finally, if you could visualize man as an animal, what animal would it be? Sketch a picture in the box below if it would help us to see. Man is an animal, not supernatural, not otherly, not primary, as much a common fruit fly as Pan Troglodytes Troglodytes. Do you want to see the picture then? I think we get the picture.